this is a bold test of this plasma tower. I've got it dim so you can see the filaments light up in it. This is with the plasma tower. Okay, this is running. That's about the brightness of them. Is that 12 volts? 0.4 yeah, 0.43 amp this is simply wound just wrap it around there's a 7 foot extension uh, electrical jumper cord it's only 3-4 turns around it this is about the maximum it can use. Other than that, it's just a waste. It doesn't get up anymore. So anyway, that's its output. Now what I will do is light this directly. These are 110 volt bulbs, 7 watts each, 225 ohms each. Okay, here's the same 12 volts. Doesn't make much of a difference. 0.004. It should light it up a bit. Okay, now if I bring this up to about 25 volts, twenty-five volts, twenty-four, twenty-five at point oh five amps, I get about the same brightness. So it doesn't seem to me, turn this back down, made that mistake already, this globe is putting out about 500 plus volts, so it's basically converting it 12 volts to 500 okay now here's the globe again it's about the same That's a pulsing, what I measured is about 500 volts, it's pulsing 500 volts. And yeah, if you add any more wire onto this, it doesn't increase the output any, uh, and uh, you can apparently tell by how high it grabs this. It's grabbing it right up to about the first, second, third one, and then it starts falling off here. So it, I've tried it, and it doesn't get much better with more wire around it. In fact, this is the best wire I found they use on it. It's a multi-strand jumper wire with the thinner wire inside. 50 kilohertz. Uh, tower runs on 12 volts DC had an AC input 
transformer, but it converts it over to DC. It's a 50 kilohertz. 